This is a review of Little Syndrome, a rare genetic disorder which can result in high blood pressure, low serum potassium, and elevated serum pH. The symptoms of Little Syndrome can appear early in life. High blood pressure or hypertension affects millions of people worldwide and increases the risk for cardiovascular disease and stroke. The majority of hypertension has no known specific cause, but a minority of cases have a specific cause, such as in Little Syndrome. This review focuses on the clinical features of Little Syndrome that distinguishes it from some other disorders, diagnosis of Little Syndrome, management of Little Syndrome, and the molecular basis for Little Syndrome. Diagnosis of Little Syndrome is typically by hypertension, low plasma renin, low plasma aldosterone, and low plasma potassium, as well as family history and can be confirmed by genetic testing. Little syndrome has many of the features of hyperaldosteronism, such as elevated blood pressure, hypokalemia, and metabolic alkalosis. However, in little syndrome, aldosterone levels are not elevated. Management of little syndrome typically involves the use of a potassium-sparing diuretic, such as amylaride, triamterene, and a low-sodium diet. Little syndrome is caused by inappropriate sodium reabsorption in the distal nephron. In the kidney, sodium is reabsorbed in a number of segments, which drives the reabsorption of water. One of those segments is the aldosterone-sensitive distal nephron, where the activity of epithelial sodium channel can regulate sodium reabsorption. Mutations to the genes coding for the alpha and gamma subunits of the epithelial sodium channel that cause it to be more active mean more sodium is reabsorbed and more water is reabsorbed as well, leading to hypertension.